both collapsed to the ground, waiting for someone to tell them something, but knowing deep down, they wouldn't see their daughter alive again. It was disturbing and shocking that something like this could happen in broad daylight, in a neighbourhood where very little went on. Former classmates of Tiffany said that her home had quickly become known as a party house, with drinking and drugs, and often lots of people coming in and out, especially now that it was summer break. So they wondered if maybe an alcohol or drug fueled party had become really out of control. That's not what this particular day had been. The four were the closest of friends, and for all intents and purposes, it had just been a very casual afternoon for them, watching television and eating food. Friends, students and neighbours gathered together for vigils, and a sense of unease hovered over everyone. Eighteen-year-old Tiffany always had the biggest smile on her face. As well as wanting to go into social work, she was a talented actress and loved any chance to perform. Rachel Colarutis also loved the arts and creative writing and was very popular in school due to her kind nature. People said that she too was always smiling, happy and fun to be around. Marcus's stepfather said Marcus loved nothing more than working on his car and spending time with his family and Tiffany. He had been finishing a course for an automotive technology certificate and wanted to pursue a business degree. His cousin Adelbert had moved to Clear Lake to get away from violence on the north side and had only been there for a couple of weeks before he was killed. He loved making music and planned to go to college to study computer technology. People could not believe that something this brutal could happen to them and this 